Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Virgo, how you doing? Hope you guys had a lovely yesterday, uh, lovely day today. Um, all right, let's look. We're just going to dive right in, you guys. We're just going to dive right into love and strictly right into love to see what the energies are playing out for the month of June. So if you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. And yeah, let's see. Oh, also, uh, there'll be a link below this video. You can go over to my Gumroad account. Just click that link. And I'm uploading videos there uh, for Virgos who are involved or are dealing with one of the 12 zodiac signs so you just click on the link that'll take you over to my account and it's for example if you're uh, connecting with an aries or if you're connecting with a taurus and so on um, you'll be able to find those videos there they're very inexpensive eleven dollars and eleven cents if you so choose um, more in depth a little more personal all right so what do we have here okay Lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation, and soulmates. A soul connection, a partnership. Wow. You guys, wow, you got a soulmate coming in here. Um, this is going to be a shocker for sure, a surprise. Our soulmates transforming, the relationship is changing, something's different, coming into partnership, agreement, some kind of a uh, soul contract, and kisses. Wow. Whew. I can feel the energy, Virgo. I can feel the energy. So, yeah, it looks like somebody's coming in. This is going to be a surprise or a shocker. Um, something unexpected. You could be meeting somebody where it's like that first kiss and all of a sudden you feel that soulmate energy. This is like a spark between two people. That first kiss and it's like a shock. You'll feel... Okay, I'm just saying... The, sh the shock you'll feel the you'll feel like this um energetic shock in a kiss <laughs> and that's gonna i don't know if that's good or if that's bad um just pay attention just pay attention okay thus far so uh giving and receiving affection falling in love okay but this is just out of the blue sudden change this could be with somebody you're already talking to it could be with a friend and then you have your first kiss um it could be somebody uh maybe in a relationship that hasn't been going well and then i don't know something happens here there's a shock and a kiss and the connection gets made all right let's see who this person is and what this energy is oh, my goodness okay ten of swords in the reverse so something's not over here for somebody okay um yeah something is definitely not over this is like forgiveness or a new start coming in here with somebody okay betrayal forgiveness for any kind of betrayal i feel like it's this person maybe it's both of you there's a healing energy happening here um maybe trying to start over forgiveness moving forward um it's just a surprise though some of you are going to get like a surprise kiss from somebody. Um, <laughs> it's I don't want to keep going on that because I can't even like I'm imagine like I can't I'm imagining something but it's just bizarre. I don't know. It's like standing in a kitchen and then you turn around and then somebody just plants their lips on you. Okay, so we're getting a lot of reversals here. Oh my gosh, no more hesitation. The moon in reverse. Clarity coming to somebody here. I feel like there's some major change happening here. This could be with a Pisces. Um, for some, it could be a Cancer, but there's a major change happening with somebody here asking for forgiveness, wanting to try to have a new start. Um, coming out of this, like, sh no more shade is what I'm hearing with the moon in reverse. Uh, this just gives me a sense of like, you know, the truth coming out, being revealed, um, some, somebody getting like a message or they're having these dreams and uh, they're getting some kind of downloads or some, some dream energy that's cluing them into something here. But the seven, seven of pentacles in the reverse, it's like, oh, no more waiting. No hesitation energy. This, it feels like this person knows exactly. They don't have to think about it anymore. They know exactly what they want to do, and they especially want to give you a kiss or kiss you. It's kind of like kiss and make up. 
that's that's what I'm feeling this kiss and makeup energy um, I feel like this person they're so they're just telling me this person gave up on a relationship too soon or they quit a relationship something maybe with you or just in general they quit too soon ran away or something happened they didn't fight for the connection and it feels like um th there's a change here I, I feel like this person is not going to spend they, they they there's no hesitation here they know what they want they know what they need to do they know what they're going to do and the first thing they, they want to do is kiss and make up okay so yeah truth coming out justice so we have first major arcana our second major arcana we have the libra energy here so being fair righteous being justified um this person wants to make things right here and i feel like with you it's just going to come out of the blue and i do feel like this person's going to try and ask for forgiveness let me take a look at this justice card what's going on okay Um, so, this feels like coming out of the, coming out of a very cold and dark place. I feel like this person, um, is really coming, in, like, so I don't know, maybe you put this person out, put them out or something I'm feeling. You, you, you put them out or you ended a relationship or something happened or there was cheating um, or there was some kind of betrayal of some sort. And I feel like this person doesn't want to be out anymore. And the only way that they could really get in your good grace is to come in and ask for forgiveness. But there's a spark that's still there. And so I know for this person, it, it feels like they still feel this they still feel this they have like an an epiphany of some sort there's just like this quick sudden change it almost feels like a tower moment but it's a positive tower moment so this is like um they're really hoping they want to recover this thing with you and and uh try to try to do something right here be fair with you be uh communicate with you their their absolute truth you know, coming in with this, uh, like this solution of, of, I don't, it doesn't feel like a desperate energy though. Like I don't feel desperation. I just feel this person is, they just have this energy of like, wow. Um, they just want to, they just want to kiss and make up. They don't want to have any, any trouble. Maybe they did something. That's what I'm feeling like. They, either they did something or you put them out in the doghouse for something, some lies, some cheating, maybe some betrayal or something, or you dipped out. And this is your soulmate. Okay. If you have a past connection with them, um, for others, th this is, well, I'm not picking up, you know, it's crazy. Honestly, it does feel mostly like someone from the past because I don't, there's nothing new here. I'm not seeing anything new here. Like like that this is with someone new. If you're with someone new, it seems like everything's going fine and that's why nothing's showing up. But this Ten of Swords in the reverse is giving me this sense of coming back and asking for forgiveness um, and that something is not quite over yet. it's recovery so whenever we have a re we have like recovery reunion reconciliation that's what i feel like somebody's trying to recover um, and do right by you so honesty and truth coming in here about something that they did okay so it could be a fire sign we have the queen of wands here so you could be connecting with an aries leo or a sagittarius or this person's coming in or this was someone that they were you know that was like in a third party there was might have been a third party kind of thing okay so in so in the case if there was a third party i feel like this person is they're connected to them in some way so it could be like um 
like an ex that they have children with, that's a possibility. I'm not seeing children here, but it, it it's just like a small percentage that this person's always going to be in their life. And, you know, I, I don't know if there was some kind of connection still to them that was that caused a betrayal. And for others of you, if this is someone whom you were connecting with in the past, the world in reverse just tells me, like, this is unfinished business for this person. They're coming in to give you some truth and, you know, to find to see if they can find a solution and, and try to recover and ask for forgiveness. It's something that they did in the past, yeah. Page of Wands, so definitely getting communication. Wow, the Four of Wands, to rebuild, to have this structure, to rebuild the foundation, the marriage, the commitment, the relationship, the family. Okay, could be a connection. And I was saying that I didn't see any children here. There is a child here now with the page of wands. So it could be a connection to a child with you and this person or with them and somebody else or you and yours. Okay, so this is kind of like, for some of you, I'm hearing the child is wanting to get mommy and daddy back together. I'm hearing that for some of you. And also for some of you, there's like um, an invitation of some sort to maybe a wedding or some kind of reunion that you might get from this person. This is this just speaks unfinished business. Let's kiss and make up and let's try to work through whatever these problems are, whatever these issues are. OK. OK. Wow. Eight of swords in the reverse and the fool in the reverse. Give me just a second here. So I feel like um, this person likes to be free. They enjoy their independence and their freedom. But the way they enjoyed their independence and their freedom was selfish because they didn't take into account you or others around them. It was just all about them. With this fool in the reverse, this feels a little bit different. Um, this person is now seeing how um, they were careless. And I feel like that this is going to play a role in the truth because it sits here right on the justice card. This person, whoever this person is that you're connected to or you know or you knew, um, there's like an admittance coming here where this person's like, it feels like um, they, they recognize that they're, it's like kind of very childish energy, carelessness um, with you, with your heart, being indifferent um, or being absent a lot or, you know, in and out kind of energy. It feels like this person has um, taken control of their, it feels like impulsive behaviors. I don't know if they have like some kind of impulsive disorder. Um, very impulsive behaviors, like not well planned out, just completely, this is how I'm feeling and this is what, I, what I'm going to do and I'm just going to do it and be spontaneous and, and I don't care who gets, you know, uh, I don't care if there's bystanders or anybody who's in the path is going to get hurt. It's like, it's not even my concern. It's all about me. And I feel like that really was the energy with this person. And they're seeing this now that their careless behaviors had either a, either a direct or indirect effect on you and your environment with them. Okay. So does that mean you got to take an apology back from somebody? Does that mean that, you know, Hey, you know, maybe some of you just need that. Maybe some of you are like, well, I'm over it. I got past it. No, I don't need it. But it's nice to hear. And I'm happy for you that you realize, but you're still out in the doghouse. Like I'm not coming back. Some of you are in that position. And, you know, uh, but some of you, because this, this might be somebody you were with before who was like in and out, in and out for years and years and cheating and cheating and always, or lying and always saying they were going to fix or do something and then they never did. Or they said they were and then they just kept repeating these same cycle patterns. And some of you, this just happened only one time and it's like, okay, I think he learned 
I think she learned the lesson. And it seems like this person's really coming in with truth and justice. There might have been a legal thing as well. There might have might have been like um, maybe the court involvement of some sort. All right. So that's Aquarius energy right there. Um, we also have Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. Um, very fixed energy. So let me see here. Yeah, there's definitely some change happening here. This no more, um, no more of this victimhood. Like, oh, well, I did this stuff because you did that. You know, like that. This is about taking accountability, which is great. All right. This is, this is bloody stumps in words. <laughs> bloody stumps in the words. Okay. Opening up. Four pentacles in the reverse. This is vulnerability. So I just, I get a sense that this person was probably blocking or hiding things before. And it seems like this is changing. They might have been a very possessive, had very possessive energy or something like, well, I can do what I want, but you can't do what you want. You have to do what I say. Some of you might have been involved with some type of a situation like that. You know, like this person could talk to whoever they wanted and they could flirt and they could kiss and they could cross boundaries. But if you were in that position, you know, it's kind of like, you know, it's my way or the highway and you can't do what I do. <laughs> it's, it's kind of like a do as I say, not as I do kind of thing, you know. So I feel like that energy has shifted for sure. I don't know what happened to this person. Uh, I'm not really going to go into detail. It might just be as simple as, you know, you said, you're out. Strike, three strikes, you're out. Some of you just gave one strike. One strike and you're out. Um, let me see here. All right, there's you. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like Virgo, look, like this person sees you, okay? They took advantage of your vulnerability, definitely. And they see that you've walked away from the commitment of the marriage. Like you, a lot of you are just like, I am not, no, you cannot come back. Thanks for your condolences. Thanks for apologizing, whatever. Um, and that might be why I said in the beginning, I don't, be careful of that spark. Because some of you, not all of you, somebody here might get that kiss and feel that fire, feel that spark, feel that electric electricity and throw the baby out with the bathwater and just forgive super quick, right? And so I kind of feel like this is going to play out in a couple different ways. Is this person coming in and trying to ask for forgiveness? Yes, but what are their intentions here? Let, let me ask, because for some of you, I feel like you got to be kind of like careful here that you don't get sucked in by some kind of like magnetism or electricity that's created by the two of you <laughs> when you're together or if there's like a surprise kiss or something along those lines that gets you kind of stirred up a little bit, you know, um, because it's so true. What did somebody say here? When when love walks in, common sense walks out, right? Always, always. All right, let me see. What's this person's intentions? Okay, so Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This is like putting in the work. This is repair. Their intention is to truly repair this. Yep, Five of Cups in the reverse. I love them getting all these reverses, reversals. So this is like um, hope returning here, definitely. It feels like this person is trying to recover this relationship. That's the second time. Is trying to recover this. And, and I feel like their intentions are good, but you still have to be the final say of that, okay? Um, because this is a general reading, and I don't know exactly who I'm talking to, and you all have different situations. That's if you want to try to repair it. Can things be repaired? Of course. 
Uh, it just really depends on your particular situation, what lengths you're willing to go, what lengths this person's willing to go. I mean, anything can pretty much be healed. It may not be put back together the way it was in the beginning, but it can be repaired. It feels like that's the energy here with this person wanting to fix this. You know, it's kind of like, I want to come home. You may be getting some kind of message from someone or a child might say, mom wants to come home, dad wants to come home. Um, or, you know, so somebody wants to come home. This person might be messaging you saying, you know, it's it's cold out here. I'm, I'm, I'm out here in the dark, in the cold. I, I want, I need to fix things. This is kind of like tail between my legs energy for whatever might have happened, whatever kind of deceit or betrayal. Okay. So we've got the sun in reverse. We have the king of cups in reverse and the hanged man. So the sun in reverse is not a bad thing. It just means the sun's going down. Okay. And I feel like this person, a very clingy king of cups in the uh, king of cups generally is very deeply emotional and uh, can be very supportive. But in the reverse, uh, king of cups is more like need, 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 obsessive kind of energy um, can have a tendency for emotional manipulation at times um, not to hurt but um, just to try to get their way to satisfy those needs as emotional needs the Sun is still a good card whether it's in the upright or in the reverse but what I feel like is going here is this this person is realizing like the Sun's about to set fully on them and time is running out it's like the sun setting okay time is running out this person this is a hurry and that's why i feel like this lightning energy this sudden change okay the kiss might come later but the sudden changes could possibly be happening within this person like oh my gosh this the sun setting on this this is it, it feels it feels kind of similar to yesterday's reading but not exactly because this feels like a bold move so this might not be the person from yesterday. The person from yesterday was making micro steps. This person's like, bam. <laughs> Coming out here, they're, you know, the Pis but it, there is Pisces card here, and it is water sign, so they might, they might have had a change of heart, too. Um, but it's definitely having a new perspective and, and really seeing things a little bit differently. Interestingly enough, though, and I just have to point this out, if you see the sun card here in the reverse, which can indicate, you know, the sun setting on this relationship, it's, it's dusk, right? But this is in the reverse, okay? So this person, okay, give me a second now. They're saying this is from their perspective. I think before, because when we have the the hanged man in the reverse, this is not having a, a new perspective. This is not seeing things. This is seeing when you're hanging upside down from a tree limb, the whole world looks different. Okay. This new perspective here is like, wow, I didn't realize that I was wasting Virgo's time. I didn't realize that there was only so much time left. I just thought Virgo would always be there. I thought that it was just going to be forever and ever. And even when I made the moves that I made or cheating or lying or being deceptive, I thought that Virgo would just keep buying it. But so actually that's not the case. And now they're coming to terms with, uh oh, I just heard that George Michael and Elton John song, Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me. And I am not going to sing it, but that's the energy I'm picking up here with this person. Now I want to see... So again, like I said, whatever sign it is, you know, I'll call out all the signs, but I think if you resonate with this reading, you probably understand who I'm talking about here. Let me take a look. I'm going to see these emotions because King, King of Cups, like I said, is, is very deeply emotional. Now, like a, it could be a fire sign that's got this water energy as well, or it's a water sign with fire energy somewhere. Let me see what the emotions are here. What's this person like? What are they feeling for you, Virgo? All right, so this person's definitely starting to understand this connection, and that's what I was seeing here with the hangman, you know, even though, well, it was in the upright. So it's like, wow, I'm seeing that, yeah, I thought I had all this time. Um, 
I was taking advantage. This person was taking advantage of the relationship of the connection. Not anymore. Not anymore. And is it going to be too late? I don't know. Is it going to be too late for you? I feel you even though we are apart. So there is still some energy between the two of you. You're connected in some way, even if you are not connected in the in the 3D, maybe somewhere up in the 5D, you're talking to each other still, or you're feeling each other's energy from afar. I hide behind material things. Okay. And I hope that you can forgive me one day, if not this month. So I feel like this person really, really does feel some kind of a loss without you here with the five of pentacles and they want to kind of reverse that and get back either in your good graces or try to have some you know do the forgiveness thing and hope that you will forgive them and hope you will give them another chance and that you will you know that you guys can try again and recover and start fresh and start anew this does feel like a very strong soulmate connection where it doesn't feel like super karmic i mean soulmates too can sometimes hurt each other it doesn't mean like everything with a soulmate relationship is perfect and it doesn't mean that everything with a twin flame relationship or uh, has elements of karma in it um are horrible it's just that it feels like for the most part there's a beautiful connection here with you and this person but there's also this human condition that accompanies it where people make huge mistakes it doesn't have to be cheating it could just be some type of betrayal that may have happened um where somebody feels like another person was just not being honest and i do feel like that's the case with you like if you ever confronted this person about trying to get some truth you know um because you thought that they were being deceptive in some way they may have just run away or they snuck away as so they didn't have to fast confess to anything okay look at that smug look like that's duper's delight right there like haha i'm getting away with this you know but the problem with those two swords in the background there they're leaving a trail of breadcrumbs so i feel like a lot of you kind of were like oh no i know what's going on i've been to the circus i've seen the puppet show you know this isn't my first time here <laughs> so i feel like a lot of you knew or know that this person that maybe they thought they were getting away with something but they weren't and you have maybe you got to a time or a position where you confronted them about it or asked some questions and they might have run away thinking you know maybe deflected and they don't have to answer these questions or came up with some kind of stupid deceptive lie of some sort whatever it is okay but you know what i don't care you know lies understanding why people lie is one thing um and you can look uh, like i said yesterday a child breaks the lamp and then the parent asks the child generally doesn't want to confess that they broke the lamp because they don't want to get in trouble and they don't want to disappoint their parent or feel like they're a disappointment right okay understood however there's still consequences for lying you know um, and being deceptive and deceitful so even if this person just took a little too much money out of the bank and and or lent money to a friend without you know consulting like took it from you or they didn't pay you back it could be it could be anything there's just a slew of different types of deceptions and lies and things like that so whatever the case is um it feels to me like a lot of you felt like, you know, this person doesn't trust me, that I wouldn't be reasonable enough to try to understand and uh, work things out. So instead they run away or they try to cover up their lies. And that that's just a breach of trust. You know, it doesn't matter what it is. Like if somebody is just going to, you know, lies and builds upon the lie and then the lie builds and builds and you call it out and then they run away, it's kind of like, whoa, hold your horses here. There's, there's actually more going on here than just... Uh, you know, even with people with simple eyes, like if you ask somebody, you know, like I said, the cookie jar scenario, you know, it's a cookie. Who gives a shit? It's a cookie. But whatever the situation is, I feel like you felt betrayed. Okay. It, to some degree. On, on, a spectrum of on the spectrum of betrayal, you felt it somewhere. And that's kind of a problem. Okay. This could be the one. So this is your person. Yeah, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So this is your, per you already know this person, Virgo. Okay. Um, and this is your person. 
And I feel like this person's trying to, you know, like I said, come in and give that unconditional love, tell you that they do love you and they screwed up, they made a big mistake, they want to try to have that falling in love feeling again, you know, but it's just going to be a shocker. I feel like it's just going to come out of the blue. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So that's what's happening here. A romantic gesture. Kissing is a romantic gesture. It's a gesture of love. So there's definitely, <laughs> I mean, unless you have like your mask on and you're six feet away and you're like, I am not kissing this fool. That's fine. It doesn't mean that they don't want to try. You don't have to respond. But I feel like some of you might get this turn around when you're not expecting it, if this person's somehow in your periphery and then, you know, boom. Or, they, or for some of you, they, they could be sending you, um, they just showed me um, emoji kisses, like lots of them, you know, like out of the blue. And you're like, what the, what the heck is this? Why are they doing this? <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't even know. I'm calling in your soulmate. Yeah, calling could be some phone calls you could get a phone call or something done with a phone like i said kisses text kisses emojis um it could be a phone call um this person leaves you miss a message they might you know just talk about kisses um this person might give you a hershey's kiss or send you some hershey's kisses or, or leave some for you or say something like i know you like kisses i know like hershey's kisses or I don't even really know. Um, are you? Oh yeah. Okay. Kissy lips as well. Um, I see kissy kiss lips too. You might get those. You know those little emoji kiss lips. Or for some of you, there might be a, a letter. Okay, that you received from this person, which that probably is a very small percent because people don't generally handwrite letters anymore. But something with some lipstick kisses. Okay. Uh, we don't really see them in many places. Um, they're just giving me um, somebody with lipstick or lips. I don't know if that's like a brand. They're showing me lipstick and maybe something that says kisses on it. Lipstick kisses that is weird. Okay, let's get into the rest of your reading here crazy oh let's take a look and see who this person is let's take a look and see what the chinese sign get a little more clarity that's crazy kiss and make up energy definitely kissing and making up all right let's see oh and we got a moon card here communication is key yeah so you're definitely going to be all right new moon and gemini you're definitely going to be getting a some type of communication like i said some kind of kisses so we have the year of the rooster Year of the Rabbit, okay. Year of the Pig. Year of the Rat, hello, Rat. Year of the Tiger. Year of the Dragon, Dragon always shows up, right? Year of the Snake, and one more. Okay, we have Tiger twice, so there could be two Tigers and year of the ox okay so if that resonates for you if that's you if that's your person if it's both of you if it's none of you take it as it resonates okay don't don't try to get too oh it's not my reading if it if this reading resonates for you 95 percent it's most likely for you okay all right let's get into see what your other moon messages are so there's definitely an energy of communication coming in from this person Okay, and this this is what I was saying, like a phone call, a text of some sort, um, with but it's with, it's not just words. For some of you, it is communication about kisses, or it's kissing emojis of some sort. I know there's like there's like quite a few, so I don't know exactly which one you're gonna get. It could be blowing a kiss, also because maybe it's is there a blowing a kiss emoji because. There's a blowing a kiss here. Okay, so it could be that. All right, let's see. Okay, work through your fears. New moon and Scorpio. All right, so somebody could be connecting with a Gemini. Could also be connecting with a Scorpio. Working through these fears. Expect powerful change. 
power, lightning. I'm telling you guys, new moon, June 29th. Something's coming in. This is new moon, new moon, new moon. These are three new moon cards. So I'm going to have to tell you guys some, something around June 29th, an unexpected, um, like a surprise, something or other coming from somebody here. And I feel like yesterday we had a June 28th energy, so something's changing. Um, let me see what other messages there are for you here. Um, from my Moon Pie Tarot deck, if you guys want to purchase this deck, the link is below the video. Okay, financial loss in the reverse. So this is good. This is a positive. Like this is uh, maybe something with your career. You're going to be getting some career, um, financial gains or something with your finances. And hmm, moving. So moving to a safe place, but in the reverse. So this feels like staying where you are right which is your safe place okay but receiving some money to stay where you are i don't know what that means but there's maybe there's a loan a financial loan of some sort um, where you don't have to move to a, like a, a, a safe place you, you you're, you're, you're in your safe place um, so it could be money coming to help you stay where you are as well or it's um to fix up a place or makes a place more secure so you don't have to move to a safe place but money coming in to help you make something more secure with where you live all right okay. so okay we have the illusion car was just a moon but it showed up in the reverse so i feel like you're going to get a lot of clarity definitely Power, expect powerful change you can be able to work through some fears because of some communication that's going to be had okay so when the moon's in reverse we said before this is like clarity the truth is revealed um, the truth in your dreams coming out as well for uh, some of you are getting dreams and you're getting revelations or things are being revealed to you in your dreams okay and a message from an admirer so, yeah, you're definitely going to be hearing from somebody who admires you greatly, like is head over heels in love with you as well. All right. So, I'm going to take a look here and see what other, what names we can come up with. Okay. So, I'm hearing Rodriguez. And um, somebody's going to be getting some roses or some lilies. Maybe it's a name, really, Lily, or somebody has a flower name, perhaps. Um, somebody has long, dark hair. Okay. Okay. Uh, somebody isn't works as like a nurse or an orderly. Maybe something with children. Um, Okay, I'm hearing March 13th also. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm definitely picking up Rodriguez. Um, somebody does yoga or does some kind of tantric healing of some sort. Listens to some kind of mo uh, yoga music or sitting somewhere stretching. You might be stretching as you're listening. Okay. So we've got the initials. Well, the letters in the name, there's a letter A and I have a letter Z. And I also have um, H. Um, I'm hearing Ash or Ashley or Ashby or Ashland. Ash. Okay, let's see. Okay, somebody's an Aries, somebody's 32, or the birthday's on the 23rd or the 24th, and somebody is 49. Okay, oh, they just said him, it's him. 
I heard just somebody, I don't know if somebody's telling somebody, using a pronoun, the pronoun him, saying, oh, it's him. I know it's him. I know who it is. Oh, oh it's him. It's who texted you. It's him. It's, it's, I don't know. It's, it's something like him. Maybe it's the H-Y-M-N, a him. Maybe a song of some sort like that, like a hymn. Okay, we've got that. Hold on. So you're being asked here to refocus your thoughts. You're, somebody's having trouble sleeping at night. Refocus your thoughts at this time. Um, and I'm also seeing green pillows on a bed. Green pillows. And um, somebody's by a pool. Sitting by a pool or, you know, outside by a pool. Maybe exercising by a pool. Okay, let me see. Okay. Oh, somebody's got a ringtone. Um, there's a, I hear a ringtone. I don't know who it's attached to. It's a chime. So it's a chime ringtone. I'm hearing that chime ringtone. So maybe it's a text alert or text tone or a phone alert. It's a chime. So you know what a chime sounds like. I don't, I don't know how to explain a sound. <laughs> but it's like on the, on your phone. Uh, some, so either like you receive that or that's connected. You have that assigned to somebody. You might have just heard it, or maybe you're hearing it now, some kind of a chime sound. Yeah, so I'm picking up a lot of earth and a lot of water right now, okay? So maybe you're somewhere by a lake, um, out in the woods somewhere, and there's a lake. Um, I'm not picking up so much sand. It's like earth. It's like um, brown dirt and then blue sky, or brown dirt and water, okay? So earth and water energy here. So somebody's, okay. I'm hearing, um, oh, somebody drinks chamomile tea or likes chamomile. And, and um, <laughs> they just said, this is so weird. Spirit just said, it's chummy. We're chummy. Somebody must have says that. I'm not sure who I'm channeling. Um, they're saying, oh, we're chums. We're chummy. Or they're chummy. I don't know what that means. Okay. Um, all right. Give me a sec. Okay. Yep. So. All right. I just heard Aggie or Agatha. And I'm hearing um, August 3rd. I don't know if they're connected. Oh, and then I'm, um, okay, why are they saying that? Is it chummy? Now they're changing it. It's chummy, and then there's also the word chug, chugging, chugging, or chug, chuck, maybe, chug. All right, that's so strange. So, September 8th, and I'm also picking up, okay, the 28th, so the 28th and the 29th, of June are going to be significant days, right? Um, so the the new moon happens on the 29th at 2:52 Universal Time. So five hours from where you are, five hours forward. Um, you could look it up with the new moon. So sometime between the 28th and the 29th, there's this. Uh, it, I'm hearing a thunderstorm, a heavy thunderstorm, or lightning. If there's no rain or, it's, or maybe thunder, snow, I, I'm seeing lightning up in the sky. If you're seeing lightning or maybe there's some, what do they call that, solar flares that you can't see with your eye, but that you hear there's a solar flare event around the 28th or the 29th of June. Okay. Okay. Um, so somebody is from China. I'm picking up China. Hong Kong, maybe, area, or uh, somewhere in China, maybe Beijing, or something, somewhere near those areas. Okay. And, um, 
Um, okay, so they're giving me the letter R and the letter P as well. And I'm hearing, um, so they're telling me 22 or 322. It's, there's a two and a two, but there, I'm also picking up a three. Okay, let me see. Oh, we're back with the C and somebody, okay, this is a word. This is kind of a slang word that somebody uses all the time. They, they say the word C-R-A-P. Okay, so wherever you are in the world, if that's a, either you use that word, um, like if you stub your toe or you forgot your keys or something, you say, oh crap that kind of thing that's that's the message it's coming through I'm also picking up um, p12 Wallowy p p p12 Sherman wasn't that um what's that from hold on a minute I gotta look that up p12 wasn't that from a Disney movie the fish movie or a p Sherman I don't know what P12 is. What the heck was that fish movie called? <laughs> I'm having a mind block. P. Sherman, I think it was. Oh, P. Sherman, 42 Wallaby Way. That's Australia. Uh, it was supposed to be Australia. Somebody's name is Philip, right? P. Sherman, Philip Sherman, or Sherman, something to do with Sherman. So, Sydney? Are somebody's a fisherman? Fisherman? Or they like to catch fish? They do something with fish. Okay, that's very interesting. Or maybe it's a Pisces. <laughs> Could be a Pisces. I don't know what the P12 is though. I'm picking up P12. Maybe it's an address. Somebody lives at that address. Okay, we have the letter S. And I kept hearing the word. They kept saying rip. Rip. Tell them to rip it, rip it off, rip the band-aid off. Okay. And then, um, oh, this is awful. So they just gave me this awful um, skunk smell, this odor. It's putrid. So maybe there's, I hope not, you have a skunk or somebody gets sprayed by one of those skunky things. Um, or, oh, the pee. So if somebody has that Pepe Le Pew, <laughs> they're showing me this cartoon skunk. I don't know, you guys probably wouldn't remember. You could look it up. Pepe Le, Pepe Le, Le Pew is a real um, romancer. It was a Don Juan of skunks, right? Okay. I don't know, maybe somebody's watching that. I don't think I've seen that in years, so I don't even know if that's, I don't even know that stuff's still on. Pep, that was like, um, who created that? Is Warner Brothers okay or maybe somebody's name is Warner last name is Warner Philip Warner P Warner or Philip okay all right we have Aquarius Gemini Libra Scorpio okay somebody's 45 somebody's 56 somebody's 44 somebody's 55 um, Somebody's 47, somebody's 70, uh, somebody's 59, somebody's born in 85, uh, somebody's birthday is in April, so it would be an Aries. And we also have a May birthday, so that would be a Taurus. Um, I'm also picking up 1973 and 74 okay let's see okay scorpio sagittarius pisces libra again okay so so they're giving me the address 290 335 um, again with that 22, I don't know what that 22, 218210. These could be addresses. These could be extensions or numbers in a phone. 
okay but they, they seem to be significant um, 103 353 um, okay let me try one more okay um, we have cancer and Aries Leo is here Aquarius again okay so 82 I'm getting um, 1984 1 2 6 6 June 11th and also uh, 1966 okay somebody's born 1966 all right, you guys. Well, that was a whole heck of a lot of fun and a very another interesting message again. So just remember, if you are interested in purchasing one of the um, readings that I've uploaded on my Gumroad account, the links will be below this video. So if you're a Virgo involved with whatever zodiac sign, just keep checking there. They will all be uploaded and you'll be able to purchase that and download that or watch it just for yourself. It's personal. Um, and it will be about you and that person. It's a love reading. It's timeless. But I do give you um, seasonal markers of when things will be occurring. Okay. So if you're interested, check that out. Again, the link's below. And uh, yeah, everybody, thanks mods and everybody for being here. I'm so grateful that you guys are here. Channel's really growing. I'm really happy. And um, yeah, I have personal readings I have to do for people. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow is Thursday. Um, so Thursday evening, I will have your weekend reading up for you. Okay. And then I will see you guys on Sunday, all the, um, members of my channel. So we'll get your free readings out to you. All right, you guys love you very much. Take care. Bye.